What up, Ideal Fam? I hope that you are having an ideal day. Now, I started doing some modifications to my car because, well, it was looking a little bit old. And as I was doing them, it got me thinking, what are those things that you can do to your vehicle to make it look 10 years newer? And I know some of us are driving around a junker or a clunker or a straight up hoopty. And even this 911 was kind of looking like a rust bucket and it needed a refresh. And so if your whip is looking like it needs to be brought up to the 21st century, well, then you're in luck because in this video, I'm gonna show you a few different ways to upgrade your old jalopy to make it look pretty much brand new or at least 10 years newer. And if you're new here and you love cars, well, my name's Brad Danger, this is Ideal. Please subscribe and turn on that notification bell because we're bringing you what I like to call edutainment content pretty much every single day. All right, you ready? Buckle up and let's go. And you know one thing that totally transforms the look of just about any car? Well, new wheels. And whether it's just to update the look of your car or make it stand out, new wheels are one of the easiest ways to transform the look of your vehicle. And if there's anything that I know about wheels is that there are millions, like literally millions of different options. And whether it's stock wheels, or maybe it's some TE37s, or RPF ones or some 1552s, or maybe some stance boy rims or some three piece wheels that cost some cheddar. Wheels are a huge part of the design of your vehicle and it can take your car to new heights. Okay, well, maybe not literally, but new wheels will transform the look of your car. And it's something that can really make your car stand out amongst the crowd with how many different options there are out there. So with a simple Google search, you can find your wheel bolt pattern and offset. And although I didn't find these wheels on fitmentindustries.com because they're, well, a completely custom option and I had to shave the brake a little bit, but that's another story for another day. Fitmentindustries.com is actually a fellow YouTuber. Well, they are a fellow YouTuber because it's like a company and they actually have an incredible gallery of wheel options for your whip. So I'll link to them down in the description. Go check them out. And, uh, Tell them Brad sent you from Ideal. And while we're at the front of this vehicle, another modification that will really make your car look a bunch newer is updating the headlights. And whether your headlights are faded or they have that yellow halogen tint of yesteryear, there is a lot that you can do with your headlights that will update the aesthetic of your car drastically. Now here's the thing, a lot of headlights, well, people let their cars sit in the sun and the headlights turn yellow. And so what you can do is you can polish them and they actually have pretty good results. And that's one way to make the light that's projected from your headlights even brighter. But another way, is to convert them to HIDs or even LEDs. And they are all gonna have different tints of brightness. But if neither of those two options suit your fancy, then you might wanna replace your headlight altogether with either factory style or even aftermarket ones. And while this might be the hardest and the most expensive of the three, it might also have the greatest effect. And if you do just one of these three things, well, you're gonna have a huge effect on how much newer your car is gonna look. And that's not even mentioning how much safer it will be to drive it at night. And I'm just gonna tell you straight up, HIDs or LEDs at night look way better than halogens. And the fact that they're safer is just an added bonus. But let's say that your paint is worse than your headlights, or it's just straight up fading, or something in your paint just isn't cutting it. Well then, I'd advise to get your car, voila, wrapped. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, this is not the original color of this car. and it is kind of a tint of Miami blue, but originally it actually was, uh... oh, and we'll get to those taillights in just a minute. But one of the easiest ways to tell what color a wrapped car is originally is by opening the door and looking either in the door or where it gets cut off. But this was really well done. So you can definitely tell I wasn't the one that did this wrap on this 911. Rather, I had a professional do it. And if you're unaware, a wrap is essentially a giant sticker stuck onto the car to give it a new design and color. And it is a DIY project. In fact, the previous wrap that I did on this car, I did myself. And although it did take a couple of weekends and a couple of buddies to help me, it was very rewarding once I got it done. This one, however, with how intricate it is with the Martini-esque livery and the ideal and all this good stuff, really is a next level wrap in something that I would not tackle on my own. So if you're gonna do something like a simple color change where it's all one color, or even do some camo like I did on the previous wrap, by all means go for it. But if you're gonna do something that you need to have custom decals printed, 
And then look at this. All of this is definitely, I mean, that is pretty straight. Yeah, way straighter than uh, I would have gotten it. And since this car turned out so good, we actually had Gorilla Mad wrap the ideal Jeep named Tina as well. And so we found that vinyl wrapping your vehicle can really add a custom touch, really make it really stand out amongst the crowd. And it actually helps protect the paint, believe it or not. So that, yeah, the rock chips and stuff just hit this and it's one layer before it actually gets into the paint. Now, as far as pricing goes for a wrap, you're looking spending anywhere from like $600 to $700 on just materials, all the way up to $5,000 and beyond for a fully custom wrap like this. So if you're trying to do it on the budget, DIY and YouTube University is the way to go. And you can have something that is very ideal in no time. But if you like the color of your car and you don't want to wrap it, well, there's nothing wrong with that. I don't blame you. But then you're going to want to get your car detailed. And it's some of the best sweat equity you can do on any vehicle because more likely than not your car needs to be detailed like yesterday and professional detailers are going to go through every nook and cranny on your car and again while this is a diy project for some what i would recommend is getting a paint correction by a professional detailer and then you keep up on the maintenance by hand washing and polishing every three to six months because they're going to use all their special detailing products on both the exterior and the interior of your car. But I think that you know as well as I do that a clean car drives better and it's one of the easiest ways to wipe years off of how old your vehicle looks. Yes, anything you can do to make your car look cleaner will do wonders in making it look newer. Now, if you are gonna wrap your car or it's already wrapped, there is special product that you can spray onto the wrap to give it that shiny detailed look as well. But either a wrapped or non-wrapped vehicle, I definitely cannot recommend enough getting it properly clay barred, paint corrected, so that then you have a great starting point for keeping your car clean and looking show ready all of the time. And while we're on the topic of aesthetics, well, let's talk about the bodywork for a second. Because you know what brand new cars all have in common? Well, at least you hope so, is that they all don't have dents, they all don't have scratches, they all don't have blemishes. They got nothing. They're clean and they're ready to go. And so to take years off of your ride, well, you can do the same. And one of my favorite things to do which usually costs about a hundred bucks is PDR. Now PDR is paintless dent removal. And the guy will come and pull out pretty much all the dents out of your bodywork. And he may even get some that you didn't think that he could. So before you actually go to a body shop and have them do any type of bodywork on the vehicle, if it's a dent, I'd highly recommend hitting up a paintless dent repair professional and seeing if they can take a crack at getting it out. They can work their magic on it. And I think you'll be very pleased with the results. But this also goes for things like curb rash, or if you have a couple of rock chips on the front. I say the easiest way to do it is go to YouTube University and research how to do them yourself. Even if you end up going to the body shop to get rock chips or curb rash repaired, if you at least know how to do it, you may have enough confidence the next time around to do it yourself. And that's the easiest way to save a lot of money and add value to your vehicle. And so those are all kind of beginner ways to take years off of your car's look. But kind of intermediate is body kits. And if done correctly, they can be tasteful. And that is as long as you're smart with the kit that you choose and you may Make sure you know what you're trying to achieve with that kit before you even start. Don't just piecemeal it together. Have an idea of what the final product is going to look like before you buy your first fender flare or ducktail or aftermarket spoiler. And if done correctly and tastefully, the results can be huge. Now, the best thing about body kits is that they are offered for just about any type of car, truck, SUV out there. Yes, I hear you, Joe, in the back even minivans. If you want to be the coolest dad picking up your kids from school, well, there's a body kit for that. And it's a great way to modernize the look of any car and differentiate the cars from your neighbor's car. And like I said, something as simple as a ducktail rear spoiler on a 911 versus the stock one can really set you apart. But then you can also put on aftermarket bumpers, side skirts, diffusers, and even splitters. And I'm not gonna lie, I mean, they can add even a little bit of curb appeal to even the trashiest of cars. Just don't add a trashy body kit onto your car. Yeah, uh, 
that's actually just straight up cardboard. But remember, the added costs of body kits is that anytime you put something on your car, you're either gonna have to wrap it or paint it so that your car isn't all different colors. Because if it is, then it's gonna kinda have the opposite effect of what you were actually going for. And if you're careful with the body kit and you do it just right, well, then you might wanna pair it with a set of newer looking taillights. And why spend money on taillights, you ask? Well, because you'd be surprised how dated taillights can look. And maybe you might think that yours is cool and new looking, but welcome to the 21st century, boys. These 911s are literally two years apart. This is a 2004 and this is a 2006, but this looks like a 2020 Tesla, thanks to these beautiful LED taillights. And this looks like your dad's like 1990 Porsche 911, which there's nothing wrong with that. It just, you know, looks a little bit older than this young spry chicken over here. And not only are these taillights a whole lot cooler, but they're totally different than any other taillight on a 911 on the road. It really adds a ton to the curb appeal and whether or not you get something like a sequential taillight or just an aftermarket bulb, it really can enhance the look from the rear. Yeah, you get what I'm saying. And since we're talking about lights, we might as well talk about like daylight running lights as well because these are an upgrade and again, really set off the front of the vehicle. I think this car, even though it's two years newer, it really does look like a way younger brother of that 996. It looks like a much younger brother than this old fart over here. And guys, I'm not trying to rag on the 996 that much, but I really think that with the taillights and the headlights, this car has really gone from an 06 to a 2016 looking vehicle. And I wasn't a believer on putting aftermarket headlights and taillights on the car, but after doing it, it really has changed my mind because the appearance is so much more contemporary. And plus at night, again, these things and these things are so much brighter than stock. And so it's a heck of a lot safer too. And so what is the best thing that you can do to your car, truck, or SUV to enhance the look and appearance to maybe 10 years or so newer? Well, what I would say is a new set of wheels and tires goes a long way. New tires are gonna make it ride a whole lot better because it is the thing that touches the road. And new wheels, well, I wouldn't get new wheels. I would get gently used wheels. Let the person that bought those brand new wheels take the financial hit and you find them on Facebook Marketplace or eBay. And what's awesome is you can buy those gently used wheels, run them for the time that you own the vehicle and keep the stock ones as well. And then when it comes time to sell the vehicle, take those aftermarket wheels off, put the stock ones back on and sell the aftermarket ones for what you paid for them. I know that could be confusing, but that is the ideal way to have some new wheels and tires for your ride and really enhance the look and feel of your car, truck, or SUV. So which one or ones of these have you done to your vehicle? Let us know down below in the comments. And is there anything that we left off this list that we should have put on it? Again, let us know. And also, if you enjoyed this vid, hit that like button. And please, if you're new here, subscribe and turn on that notification bell. I really had a ton of fun making this video and accessorizing this Porsche 911. I don't know if this is gonna be next. I've held off for this long and I kind of want to, but I sort of also maybe want to start with something different than a Porsche 911. So if you have any thoughts on maybe a car that we should replace this one with on the channel, let me know below, because uh, I'm open to suggestions at this point. And also, if you're not following us on the Instagram yet, please do. We're at Ideal Media Official, and we post behind the scenes photos and videos and us doing ideal stuff pretty much every single day. And so it would mean a lot if you followed us. And as always, keep living the ideal lifestyle.